Uh, we're a couple of weeks out from the Super Nines now. Um, we're looking forward to the event. Uh, schools have been contacted and it's really close to it. We just had a meeting there and we went through all the different roles to be sorted and all things to be sorted with Gort GA Club and we gave we delegated them out. And uh, we have roles for our TYs, so there's over probably 100 students that will be involved on the day for both days and uh, we need to sort them out and uh, yeah. We also have um, our live draw which is being posted up at the moment for both boys and girls for the fixtures. Overall we're delighted to be on the final stretch now and we can't wait for everyone to come and see all the hard work we've put in. Um, so my job at the Super Nines is running the social media and promoting it. Um, so today I was um, getting in contact with all the sponsors for Super Nines um, just getting the program together and um, so we promote the Super Nines and we use an app called Canva and we just make posters uh, with that and we um, post them on our social medias and that really helps with the, the coverage or this, the promoting the Super Nines. Uh, we're here in Crow Park today for the launch of our Super Nines competition. We have the, the Super Nines are coming up really quickly, so it's it's almost surreal to be here in such an amazing place to get to represent our school and promote something that we have created and helped pr push on in the school. Uh, to be honest, it's kind of I'd say it's a bit of a privilege for our, our school to be able to come up here and be allowed onto the pitch to do the photo shoot because not many other people can say that they've done a thing like this so it's pretty cool. How did you find photos Joe? Uh, good, uh, a bit nervous when you're taking them and the weather did get bad there but it's good all day today mostly. Uh, oh massively, um, like we haven't done something like this before in TY and like it's progressing every each year the Super Nines and GA Future Leaders it's progressing throughout the school each year. Uh, it's absolutely massive because like even this documentary behind it um, it's giving people an insight of how they can create their own thing like the Super 9 um, and it's just unreal. Oh to be here in Crow Park today it's just it's almost surreal like to get the chance to come up here and the lads wear the McKeever gear and support wear the sponsorship and promote the Super Nines in such an amazing place. It's getting really close. I remember at the start of the year like we were having meetings weekly to discuss the Super Nines and it was almost like the event was never going to come, like the time was never going to come. But to think now it's, it's down to a month nearly that we're going to have the Super Nines. It's just, it's brilliant and to get the opportunity to host such an amazing thing in our school and in our club. Uh, we just are back from Gorchia Grounds. We were speaking with the chairperson, John Quinn, just getting the last few things sorted out before the day on Thursday. Yeah, we're just sending the last couple of emails, making sure the schools are okay. Everything is just tidying up a bit, yeah. We're excited and we're really stressed as well. There's a yeah. lot. We're a little bit like, it's obviously bringing a bit of anxiety, like there's a lot of stuff to be done and there's still a few things we have to tidy up, but it's good, it's really exciting that it's only two days away and the day is finally here. Yeah, I can't believe it's like nearly here now after all the work that's gone into it and everything. enjoying the day it's just fantastic to be finally here today and after all the months of work that it's it's finally here and I know a lot of like stress and stuff came in it in the past few days and even this morning trying to get everything the last few things started out but I'm delighted now as towards the end of the day it's just fantastic. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming because it's we've been expecting this day for so long and it has finally came so it's just crazy to be honest. Um, today I'm doing PR so we're covering all the matches, we're putting up scores, making posters, so it's kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, I think it's great, like there's there's a load of people here already, like there's loads of students coming out to watch as well, and then we have the Torpy mini games, there's people up there as well, so there's stuff for everything here. Um, it's really weird that it's like here and we're at, actually here doing it after all the months preparation that we put into it. But it's really exciting as well to see all the teams down and the matches being played and it's going really well so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I'm just walking around making sure everything's going well. Uh, so it's all good so far. Um, yeah, it's really good. 
Okay, so my name is Shane Welsh. I work for Sport TG Cahir and it's my responsibility to publicize and market big sporting events around the country. That could be GAA, it could be rugby, it could be badminton basketball, but today we're here at the Camogie Super Nines, the Gort Super Nines. It's the first time there's ever been a nine-a-side competition in Ireland. It's an under-15 competition ran by the transition year students here at Gort, and uh, the day is going brilliantly. I'm just here to get a few interviews with the school, with the students that organized it, and make a big, make a big job of the day. Yeah, fantastic day, just a really brilliant tournament, great concept and you know, just so lucky to be here from John the Baptist's point of view because there's so many schools that would just love to be here participating in a day like this and just incredibly lucky uh, to have a really good bunch of guys um, and we were unlucky I suppose in the cup competition but delighted to, to get the shield uh, at the end of the day there after a fantastic day out, really and thoroughly enjoyable and getting guys out hurling against the best young hurlers in the country, just where, where, where else would you want to be? Oh look, it was an unbelievable day up here I suppose, you know, left to Kenny at half seven this morning which is an early start for some lads but uh, you know, it, the, the journey was fully worthwhile uh, when we came up here the second we were met at the gate, um, you know, people showing us where we'd, where we'd to go, what pitch we'd to be on, uh, the organisation has just been unbelievable and to think of, you know, a group of transitioner students can do this um, is unreal, you know, 15, 16 years of age, um, it's fantastic to see. I think it's brilliant, it's really well done, really well organised and just blown away with all of the organisation that's gone into this over months and to get so many quality teams here from all across the four provinces is a huge achievement to all of the students who've put so much work into it. Um, I think this is the first time you've ran it and to do it so successfully for the Camogie is just outstanding. Um, I think we underestimate sometimes what our students can do and when we give them the tools to go off and do it this is what they produce. So so well done to everybody. Absolutely brilliant day. Fabulous weather, fabulous hurling all day. Tremendously well organised by the transition year students here in Gort. Um, and the Super Bowl of, of events that I've seen in the last month or so around the country. Sophisticated to the nth degree, I can assure you. It's absolutely something to be celebrated, it surely is. I mean, young people helping young people enjoy hurling and football up and down the country has been absolutely brilliant. But more importantly, putting, putting what they've learnt in the classroom into effect and doing it very, very well as far as I could see, you know. Um, and then the whole thing is, the, the big step now for them is to make that transition into their clubs. Um, and, you know, our mantra is where we all belong. Um, and so there's a niche for everybody. And I keep telling the story, as a hurler and a footballer, I was absolutely useless. I used to pump the footballs, I'd wash the jerseys, I'd organise the buses, but I found a role for myself. And, you know, here I am, whatever number of years later, as Uktaran coming to class Grail, the point being that there's a role for everybody in this institution. Thanks, Mr. Larry. Not at all, you're welcome. Excellent. So, Excellent. Thanks, Mill. Oh, thanks, Mill. <laughs> That's one for the bloopers, lads. I thought the Super Nines went really, really well. Um, everything went really according to plan, and the day went, both days went very smoothly. The feedback from both the community and all the schools involved has been so positive, and it's been such a relief to finally have it over now. But it's so nice to hear all the positive things we're getting back from it.